Good morning. Today is uh, Wednesday, April the 5th. Time right now in Singapore is 11.29 in the morning. We are 31 minutes to noon and overnight on Wall Street, we have a bit of a marginal high in equity markets, but it couldn't hold on to its gain. And by the end of closing, there was a bit of a dip. Uh, in the Dow Jones itself, we can see a marginal high 33,634.7 uh, following the entire series of uh, rally. Now, I think the market is taking a breather. And in the short term, I think the market may extend lower let's take a look at the one hour time frame if the market have a simple three wave rebound uh, a pullback that means to say that it possibly can hold at 33,000 even okay but if the market take a deeper uh, uh, corrective action then maybe the market can test the 50% of this entire rise here okay this rise here is from the low here of uh, 31,800 to 33,735 so the 50% mark is somewhere around 32,720 so do watch out for the possibility of the market either holding at 33,000 or 32,700 but however if the market decays below 31,905 905 uh that should give us a a little bit of a warning that perhaps the top is in because over the uh uh, over the mid to long term, I still don't believe the equity market has enough uh, to power to a new high. Uh, because lately we've been hearing a lot of disturbing news. One, uh, banks are limiting withdrawals. Now two, we heard that Blackstone, not Blackrock, Blackstone, uh, 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 which is very big in the commercial uh, property side, now is, with, uh, is limiting withdrawal uh, for those who actually participate in their B reads. Okay, so this is these are disturbing news because if the banks are limiting withdrawal and now uh, fund managers are also limiting withdrawals, that means to say that something is not right here. So uh, that will be not not it will not be a good fundamental to continue to be long equity market in my opinion okay so let's take another look okay and uh in the s p 500 we also saw a marginal high overnight at 3133 and this market is actually very very close to my ideal selling price uh which is uh which is going to be somewhere around hang on hang on hang on, hang on. Uh, this is irritating okay my my area of uh, interest will be somewhere around 4,040. Uh, 4,140 to 4,195. So you can see this is a equality move, very, very neat. And the market is nearing uh, this ideal price of 4,140. Although the high trader is 4,133. It is close enough. If you, if you believe this is the peak, then of course, from here onwards, it's all downhill, right? So for the time being, we cannot say so because there is no convincing evidence to suggest that. But if the markets do a simple withdrawal, I mean a simple pullback, uh, then the 50% mark from the 3,900 to the 4,130 levels could actually see prices pulling back to 4,000 uh 4020 levels okay so this will be the midpoint between the two extreme points but if the market continues to go down below 4000 and hits below 3009 that should be the first inkling that something is not right and a top could possibly be in okay so do watch out for all these levels here over in the nikkei one uh the uh the national 100 we also see that the price has a marginal high of 13204 uh, again we are beginning to see some kind of pullback but again uh if it's just a simple correct Action, uh, action then then the uh, it should be shallow however if the market goes below 12,400 that will be the first sign that something is not right here so be very very aware of the various key points uh, as you continue to hold on to buy position I for one has not been in the market in equity uh, index for quite some time okay over in Asia we can see that Nikkei has a uh, high yesterday at 28,282 and this morning my market opens with a gap down and has been trading progressively lower the uh, the current price right now is just below 28,000 and 27,891 so we, this could continue to go lower the crucial point here between these two extreme point uh, the market actually rallied from 26,630 and all the way to 28,280 so the midpoint will be somewhere around 27,450 levels so the market pulls back and can hold at 27,450 that means that there's a little bit more upside to go but again prices earlier on last week has actually traded into my ideal selling price at 28,500 so you can see that the high trade is 28,734. Okay, so that's basically put it inside the bracket and the market do come down from here. So there is a risk that the market may do may actually top out and continue to slide below the uh, below 26,630. Okay, so we have to watch out for all these levels here. Over in the Hang Seng, we can see that the market rebound for 18,800. 
29, we have a very neat three-way structure. It, uh, it, yeah, uh, it short of uh, my ideal price at 20,800. The high trader was 20,722, and it has been coming down since. And this looks a bit corrective right now, and it could go down all the way to cover this gap that we see here. And that will mean that the market may actually decay all the way to just under 20,000 to 19,775. So do watch out for this possibility of pullback here. Over in uh, in the mainland equity index, in beginning, it, it continues to power higher. We, we have a three wave rally from 3,935 going up all the way to this this after, uh, this morning high of 4,103. So this is a very neat rebound, three wave rebound, and this is my selling area. And uh, we will have to see whether the market will power higher beyond 4,113. We will have to watch. But I think this is an area of interest. Uh, selling interest may actually sorry re-emerge from here okay over in the energy market we can see that crude oil prices have a marginal high compared to monday's high at 81 dollars and 75 cents per barrel and uh, there is this possibility but uh, possibly the market pulls back uh, in a uh, in a corrective manner down into this breakout of prices at 77 dollars and 45 cents i have a really placed order to buy uh in this bracket of prices between 75 to 77 dollars and 50 cents so i am very bullish on uh energy markets especially crude oil and uh and uh natural gas so i've really gone long on both so if you want to consider doing the same thing this will be the good price uh, uh an area of interest okay you can also consider to uh, uh to do the same thing here okay now gold has a very explosive move as i was mentioning over the last uh, uh over the weekend that this triangle pattern has finally burst up to the upside we can see yesterday market on in, in a spot gold market went up to a high of two thousand twenty five dollars and this is very very aggressive and uh, this morning we since the, uh, the market has slowed down a little bit there's a possibility market may, may pull back a little bit and the bare minimum pullback is usually about zero uh, twenty three point six percent from where it started at one thousand nine forty so if the market managed to pull back at 2007 uh somewhere around there uh that could be all that you can do i have already placed order to add to my long position at a thousand dollars and sixty cents i'm at a thousand a thousand nine hundred sixty dollars i've actually gone long around there and i'm prepared to to buy and this is the probably the uh, in my career this is the highest price i ever bought gold if this 2007 is actually done and uh, my target for a time being is about twenty thousand sixty dollars uh, no, uh two thousand sixty dollars uh although the potential for the market to go uh to a high of twenty thousand six and sixty nine dollars is there but i'm prepared to take profit at twenty thousand no two thousand and sixty dollars i think that will be enough for me and i'll just watch because the reversal will be equally sharp so if you have not placed your profit taking level if you have really gone long do so immediately because uh the characteristic of a post triangle trust is that it will it, it will explode to the upside and it will also retrace just as fast okay just be very careful here over in the silver market the market did not manage to pull back in fact it has a marginal high as we were speaking market went up to a marginal high of 25 dollars and let me see 25 dollars and 30 14 cents so very 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 little shadow uh pullback at most if it ever does is this link over here which is about 23 dollars and nine cents and i okay and uh, 23 dollars and 90 cents so basically very very shallow pullback in fact there's none so far so uh maybe it will not pull back at all okay so this is how bullish the market has been over in the dollar the dollar continues to slide of course one of the conditions for gold to rally is that dollar comes off and we have seen that in the market overnight uh dollar index continue to slide uh now it's hovering just above 101 and unfortunately i am long the dollar itself so right now i'm uh, losing money on my dollar position and uh not sure how far it will continue to go i think the market may hold at at, at 100 point seven levels okay so this will be my target uh, for market to continue to edge lower and that also uh, ties in pretty well with the target uh, because yesterday go high was doing two thousand and twenty five dollars if the market can go up another maybe forty dollars or so uh, that will bring dollar index to somewhere around these levels okay then i want to see how the market performs maybe that is when the dollar also reverse so we will have to see the correlation here okay and uh, of course if the dollar continues to go lower the other major currencies continue to go higher okay and this is unfortunate because i'm also short the sterling sterling have a marginal high at one 
1.2525 before it goes into a consolidation. If the market pulls back here at 124.30, I will prepare to actually buy back my short position because this is somewhere near where I where I actually went short. Okay, so uh, that will not be a major loss to me. I will just take my uh, minor loss and get out of the market because right now I'm on the opposite side of this uh, dollar move. Okay, over in the dollar, uh, euro dollar itself, I think the same thing is happening. Uh, euro dollar has a marginal high at 1.0973 and now it's going into a bit of a consolidation. The market pulls back to 109. I will also square off one of my uh, short position, the one that I just took last week, and uh, this one will end up not losing money. I will just possibly scratch a trade, and uh, for the other one, I'll, I'll probably find a way to mitigate that. Uh, I think the upside potential may still be available because the dollar has not bottomed out yet. Okay, and uh, over in the Aussie, I think the Aussie market. Uh, after the major rally on Monday uh, may continue to edge higher but I think the top side is also quite limited here I am thinking somewhere uh, 0 0.6820 to 0 0.6870 the market will top up so this is not that far away if the market goes up then possibly it will present a selling opportunity for those who want to sell this just be aware that the downside uh, uh, potential is all the way back to the uh, much low of 0 0.6565 okay so there is about maybe 200 points here if you want to go for it okay oh, sorry uh 300 points here if you want to go for it so maybe it's still worth it because this is a three-way corrective uh rally and if the market can actually go into this crackdown of prices that will present a very decent selling uh selling opportunity okay over in dollar yen <clears throat> the dollar continues to slide but before the market went down uh uh, I was telling the whole world that perhaps the market can actually do a uh, do a rebound. I managed to sell somewhere around the one, 133 half levels. So I actually managed to get into a good position to sell the dollar yen and the price has gone down. And then in today, uh, the low so far is 101. Uh, 13130 one, and if we get a bit of a rebound back to about 132.20 to 132.50 levels I am prepared to add to my sell position uh, because I think 129.65 may not hold it may actually go down all the way and actually target 125 half okay 125 half is actually my ultimate termination uh, target here so I think there's a lot of potential here for the market to actually go so if I can sell at Add on to my position at 132.20. I think there is another 300 pips to go before the market finds a bottom. So this could be a trade that you may also be interested. Just saying, okay. And in dollar CAC, I have no position. Uh, dollar obviously is coming down, so the dollar CAC cannot cannot rebound. So you can see the low trader in dollar CAC is 134 even, or uh, or uh, sorry, uh, 134.06. And the market may do a rebound back to 135. And if this 135 is an area of interest, then maybe you can also consider selling. But knowing uh, that the bottom is somewhere around 132.75. So depending on where you think this is going to be worth your risk, uh, if you think it's sold, then maybe this is a good trade uh, set up for you on the condition that uh, a selling signal actually appears within this bracket of prices between 135 even to 135.60. Okay. Uh, over in the Bitcoin itself, market continues to go sideways. There is no incentive, but the the rally from nineteen thousand five sixty nine continue to underpin this market. So the fact the market did not come down in any big way means there is a lot of demand underpinning this Bitcoin here. So ideally, we want to see a three way pullback from two twenty nine thousand three eighty all the way to about twenty six thousand three hundred and thirty dollars, and then that would be the ideal setup because this will be equality, and from here the market can propel higher but that will be the best outcome but right now we do not know there's a possibility market may, may go into a marginal high before it gives us a new pattern altogether in the meantime this is all i have for you just be careful because i think the equity market is getting seriously seriously topish okay in the meantime that's all i have thank you very much and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye <laughs>